So folks, after a year and a half, we are finally here with the new channel, Komodo Racing League, and we've got an awesome race plan here for this Labor Day weekend. And folks, we're going to be running the NASCAR Next Gen Cars. Now, this is going to be completely an exhibition race. There's going to be no points awarded, but I believe you guys are going to absolutely enjoy this. So let's go over the Komodo Crash Canyon real quick. It's six turns of absolute chaos, including two jumps. And here's a little on board of what our racers are going to be seeing here today so as far as the rules for this particular event we are not going to eliminate anybody so we have 16 competitors here tonight now their starting positions are lined up via qualifying that was run before this video so we're going to run three heats with the cars we're going to take the top three they're going to go immediately to the main event and then the remaining cars are going to run a last chance qualifier to try to improve their positions and they'll be lined up at the back of the main event and then for the main we're going to unleash 16 cars at once on this track and it's going to be absolute insanity so we're set up here in heat one to decide the inside row on the main so remember taking the top three we've got daniel suarez kyle larson brad keselowski chris busher austin dillon and harrison burton and we're ready to go and the countdown is here and who is going to get the whole shot down the first straightaway? It appears to be Kyle Larson over Daniel Suarez. And here they come down, speeding through the double turn section. We've got a really nice pack here and as they go over the jump and oh, we've got trouble. Looks like Austin Dillon has landed on top of the garage. And Kyle Larson from second place is going to be the winner here, followed by Brad Keselowski and Daniel Suarez. I'm not really sure what happened to Suarez there on the inside. He was starting on pole. Uh, let's break it down here in the replay and yeah it was definitely the run down to turn one that allowed kyle larson to take the lead keselowski was really on his tail there for majority of the race but we've got to jump down to the jump cam and figure out what happened to the three car so yeah the three was actually in the transfer spot when it crashed and that's really what allowed Daniel Suarez to advance to the main there. Absolute heartbreak. But like I said, we're not eliminating anybody tonight. So the three is going to go to the last chance qualifier with Chris Buescher and Harrison Burton. But yeah, the inside row of the main event is decided. Let's keep this party rolling and let's go to our heat number two. So pretty stout lineup for heat number two. You got Eric Jones, Chase Briscoe, Kevin Harvick, Austin Sendrick, and Ricky Stenhouse. And we're ready to go. Countdown is on. And they're off. Who's going to get the whole shot down into turn one? And it looks like Chase Briscoe from the middle has taken the lead, followed by Eric Jones and Kevin Harvick. And oh, Kevin Harvick's found a way to do the track backwards. And as we race down through the double turns and we enter the jump section, where is Kevin Harvick? Well, that's odd. We've had a competitor disappear, but it is going to be Chase Briscoe, followed by Eric Jones, followed by Ricky Stenhouse. That's going to be your top three that are going to make up the middle row of the main event. And it appears that Austin Sendrick and Kevin Harvick are going to be going to your last chance qualifier to try to improve their position. So we definitely need to see a replay. And as you can see, Chase Briscoe was able to hold down Eric Jones in turns one. And Eric definitely tried to push back on the inside. You can see Kevin Harvick gets turned around here. But it's a question of we lost him in between shots. And oh, he flew over the wall and went down the hill section in the double turn. That's absolutely heartbreaking. I guess these cars don't like to drive backwards, but at least he didn't end up in the garage section like the three car did. But still overall a fairly clean race and we are ready for our final heat uh, before the last chance qualifier. It's going to be heat number three and this one's stacked up with a lot of fan favorites here. You've got Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, and the slowest qualifier of the day, William Byron. I'm kind of excited to see if he can make up any positions here to try to get his way into the main event. So they're lined up, ready to go, and they're off. Let's see if Chase Elliott can hold his lead down into turn one. And we spoke too soon because Blaney's out to a lead, but Byron is catching him, and oh man, that was an absolutely amazing move. And wow, I didn't see that happening, but we have trouble in the jump. It looked like the nine, and also we're missing a competitor here. Starting from the last position, that was an absolutely wild race. And we're going to definitely need a breakdown there. And yeah, it appears that Chase didn't get off the line very well. And Blaney was able to uh, pass him in turn one. And Byron got Chase there shortly after. But we believe we found footage 
as to what happened to the 20 car and it appears they fell from the top of the track all the way down to the jump landing on the jump and then falling in between the jump and the landing ramp that is absolutely insane they landed there and all while this was happening byron actually made a move on blaney and yeah definitely a surprising winner also, we need to break down the whole fact that Chase in the final corner actually flew off the track into the garage, allowing Alex Bowman to finish third there. So Chase in the 20 are both going to the last chance qualifier round, which is right now. And here is your lineup for that. So it's going to be Harrison Burton on pole, Austin Sindrick, Chase Elliott, Chris Busher, Kevin Harvick, Christopher Bell, and Austin Dillon to round out your last chance qualifier. Here we go and they're off so harrison burton leads him down into turn one but austin cindrick's right on his back bumper trying to take over the lead as we go through the double turn and here they are over the jump whoa the 21 actually almost flew over and it's a cluster of cars here at the end but harrison burton still manages to take home the victory man that was really close there in the end uh we're definitely gonna need to see a replay to break that one down look at the air the 21 got over the jump managed to pull it back together and win the last chance qualifier now there was a couple other unlucky participants as you can see the three car really didn't make it very far in this race flying off from the top turns down to the grass here also you can see that the 9 and the 20 cannot buy any luck either uh, both of those cars have crashed out and they are going to be also starting towards the back of the field so folks here's the moment you've all been waiting for this is the main event 16 cars the biggest field i've probably ever sent down the komodo crash canyon and i am sure it is going to be total chaos here so comment down below who do you think is going to win the overall event here and here is your lineup for the main event. So your front row is going to be Larson, Briscoe, and Byron. I think the winner might come from probably the first three rows. But here we go. Who's going to lead them down the hill? And they're off. And it's a massive pack as they head down towards turn one. And it looks fairly organized. Except for Larson, he's spinning around and... Wow, he did a complete 360 there. Lots of really competitive action, and it is going to come down to a really close finish here between the 5 and the 24, and the 5 edges out William Byron. And it is total chaos behind him, and that's probably the biggest crash I've ever seen over the start line. So that inside row hasn't always been the greatest tonight, but it does prove to be valuable for Kyle Larson to secure the victory here in the main event. Here is your top three and we got a little bit to break down here in the replay. We got to see what happened there at the very end. And we got to see Larson's awesome 360. So yeah, he spun around, managed to just keep it going, keep the momentum up. That was really impressive. And ultimately, that's probably what gave him the win over the 24. And then as you can see here, there's a car upside down in the track. And it causes absolute chaos. Massive crash over the start line. And folks, I don't think it gets any better than that. Really close finish and big crashes. And there you have it, the five is celebrating in victory lane. There's your top three once again. Like I said, it is an exhibition race. We are not gonna be keeping points, but once we get more cars in place, if you guys wanna see a season of the next gen cars, then let me know down in the comment section below. We've got different races coming up here. Cops versus robbers, big trucks, and you know we're always gonna have big crashes here. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time on Komodo Racing Link.